Hello guys. Hello. Welcome to yet another episode. Make sure that you subscribe and comment. Like and share. Yes. I'm Katongo Lenaji. Kabejo Mata. And today we are discussing such a very humongous topic today. Some interesting topic today. Something really exciting. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about time in relationship. Yes. Yeah. Naji. Mm. Time in relationship. Are you in relationship? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let us talk about this. Well, mm -hmm. to be honest, mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, will answer you okay, after yeah, me. I know you. Yeah, you, so. you. So how, how, like, time relationship? How, how, how do you understand it? Like, well, well, the concept of time mm -hmm. is really huge, but time is so essential in a relationship whereby uh, you have to make time for something that you love you know they say if you really love something you have to make time for it you understand yeah if if i don't really like something or i don't really love something i'm going to make an excuse care. You, you get it yeah. i don't i don't even care mm. but i think the time time is so important in the relationship whereby you can you can it can help us like if if me i have a girlfriend or mm. i have someone that i'm seeing mm. if i make time for that person i'm going to understand her more and I'm, we are going to to connect more, you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I think also it is necessary. You have to, do, if you love someone or you care about someone, yeah. okay, okay, not even care about some about anything. You have to to give it time. Mm -hmm. So I also think time is really uh, essential. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So when when you try to look at uh, different perspectives of time, because what uh, Kavish, mm -hmm. tell me something. How do you understand time in terms of uh, like spending that time with uh, with your loved ones, uh, with your boyfriend? I hope you have one. Do you have okay, one? I do. <laughs> That's really great. If you have someone, you should not lie. Okay. But I know you have someone. So okay, that's, that, that's really. We proceed. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you how how do you manage that time? And what are some of the things that you really look up to when you really uh, try to make time for your? Uh, okay, mm. my family or my friends I have to make sure that I give. Okay, I talk to them. Yeah. I spare like my time to talk to them to make sure if they're fine. Mm. Uh, in relationship, it's also it's also very important to have to call him. Even if I can't meet him, even if we are busy, but I have make, to make sure that I have to squeeze my time and I talk to him and ask him if he's fine or what, yeah. I think... Yeah. So, well, well, uh, this is my view. Uh, over there, you have to make some, some time for your loved one. Yeah, however much you're busy, now, however yeah, much... Yeah, we know yeah. that everyone has a very busy schedule. Uh, in life, you know, you have you wake up in the morning, you have to, to go to work, after going to work, you have to, to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it is really important for someone to make that time, you understand what I'm yeah. trying to say, to make that, uh, even if it's some, it's called ample time, ample time, you, mm -hmm. you understand. So even if you make that ample time for someone, it's, it's really going to pay off in a huge uh, amount. So, so I uh, think like, me knowing that someone cares about me is that that person has to make time for me. Maybe he or she calls. Yeah. And yeah, but by the, by the way, calling is really essential. Yeah, relationship. you have to call your friends, not even your boyfriend. Or girlfriend. You have to call your friends <laughs> of course. ask them how they are. It is uh, very important. Have you noticed that there are some people in, in life mm. uh, that that have a lot of friends or yeah. that have friends mm -hmm. around them but mm -hmm. they don't even make that ample time to call them that's being selfish if yeah yeah, yeah. If you the call way, someone your friend you have to care you have to call even if you can't meet them but you have to call them and make sure it's okay not call them every yeah. day but once in a while uh, yeah it's really great to call someone you understand yeah. make them feel so special make them feel appreciated yeah, make them, them feel time. alive you understand what i'm trying to say yeah when make they're still them... alive by the way you yes. have to do that when they're still alive yeah so yeah. that you avoid those things for everything and yeah. all that yeah by the way that's that's really essential and i and i happen to have one of the baddest memories in my life yeah, uh, yeah. The, it was in 2016 when i lost he was like a brother to me mm. and he got some some complications with his uh with his life you understand mm. so, yeah uh, I was supposed to call him on 
it was on Friday, mm. but I did call him, so he passed away. That's oh, yeah. that really, it's really sad. You understand? Really so you have to make yeah. time for people. Yeah. 